Hi everyone, today I thought I would do something that is reflective of the beautiful weather we have here in London today. It's very sunny. I do hope it's sunny wherever you are too. So I thought I'd do more of an ideas video and this is about wearing colour on your eyes because I do get asked a lot about this, how best to wear bright colours or frosty colours or just how best to wear more than one colour on your eye. It is something that if you're not comfortable with colour around your eyes, I sort of include myself in that category. I'm always quite um, tentative with, with me personally, not doing it on other people. But so I think um, there's so many modern ways and interesting ways to wear colour. So I thought I'd just explore some of those ideas. So I thought I'd start by using MAC Face and Body Foundation using C2 just to create um, a very sort of dewy, lightweight base. So this isn't really a covering foundation, it's more of a, a dewy tint really. So I need to do a little bit of concealing on top of that, but that's given me a very glowy base, which I think is nice for this, this time of year. Touch on centre of my neck. Got my uh, wintry neck there, a little bit grey. Now I'm going to try this Marc Jacobs Under Eye Concealer. This is quite new. I think it's you can use it to conceal under your eyes and your face, although it's got caffeine in, so it is more about under the eyes and kind of puffiness. I haven't used this yet. It's been in the studio for a while, but I'm always really, really nervous using new products for shoots and things, and I've been on lots and lots of shoots the last few weeks. So um, I've chosen this shade 160 because I think it looks a little bit lighter than my, maybe it's too light, possibly. Let me just blend it in. That should be okay once it's blended in. Yeah, I'm always, um, I like to use it on myself for a, a while before I decide if it's going in the kit. So I'll definitely be trying this one out. If you've uh, been using this, please let me know in the comments. Love to know your thoughts. So I finished the rest of my base. I've done a little bit of lip, eyebrow and uh, mascara. So straight into eyes. So I thought I'm gonna start quite bold and a really nice way to wear color on your eyes, just to wear one color, really simple and just as a wash. So if you are someone that really likes to have a shaded socket line, you might want to do that first. So if you like to have kind of, you know, a little bit of um, a neutral shade in your socket line just to give you depth, then go ahead with that. I have pigmentation on my eyelids, so I usually have that anyway. But I'll show you what I mean by that. If I was to add, say, a little bit more depth. So this is a slightly taupey brown shade. So if I was going to use a colour all over, I might want to just do that first, or I can always do that on top, but just to give myself a little bit more definition. So for this wash of colour, you can either use a powder, I'm going to use actually this colour, which is more of a pastel green colour. Pastels sound like they're going to be quite easy to wear because they're light, they're actually quite difficult to wear because there's a lot of white pigment in them, so they're quite unnatural looking, particularly if you are tan or a deeper skin tone, so beware of pastels in general. Um, I am going to use one just to show you how lightly we can do a wash with this. So you can see, you could just either just put it onto the eye lid, so you still got your your colour there, your um your shaded socket line, but you're just starting to get a pop of colour. And in terms of the colours you choose, really there's no rules. You just have to choose colours that you you like, I think. And you'll soon know if you try a colour that if, if it looks bad. Although I tend to think most colours can work on most people, it depends what's on the rest of your face. So often colours that you put on first, you might think that's not great, but then when you blend it with, um, you know, you've got your blush on and your mascara, and maybe you've had a touch of eyeliner, you'll suddenly be like, oh, it actually looks really fresh. So when you're doing a wash of colour, you really do want most of the colour to be behind the lashes, and then it almost to fade to nothing up into the towards the brow it's 
quite an interesting colour. I'd call that sh it's chartreuse, I think it's called. And what's nice about just doing a wash of colour, one colour, firstly it's easy. It does always look modern because it's not that complicated cut crease with all the different colours. So there is a modernity to it. And you can also still add, if you always wear a black eyeliner, go ahead with your black eyeliner and put lots of mascara on because I think that always helps as well to ground these kind of washes. So next I'm going to put some black under my waterline on the top there. This is a really good thing to do if you're using a colour, particularly a light colour like this. And also plenty of mascara. In fact, I shouldn't have put mascara on before I did the eye makeup. That was silly because it's now the powder's got into the lashes. So I'm going to add a bit more mascara. I'm also going to show you how you can do one colour on the top, one colour on the bottom. But already that feels like it feels very summery, very fresh. And although I'm someone that doesn't wear a lot of colour on my eyes, I wouldn't feel overpowered by that, although the colour is obviously extremely vivid. Another way to do it is using a colour which is not matte like this one and to use a colour which has a little bit more of a shimmer in it. So if I was to go for another bright colour in the green family, but say this one that does have shimmer and then it's just shimmer is just so much more forgiving. So this has a gold shimmer to it. So I'm still getting that colourful effect. get my mirror. Again a little bit more on the actual eyelids. So that just gives quite an easy wash of colour and somehow having that frost in or the purling just helps you to blend it so much better. It's just a little bit more forgiving because of the way it catches the light but you still get the, the feeling of having colour on your eyes. I think I'm going to use this time instead of doing the black under the eye and the um, yeah, more of the liner effect underneath. I'm going to do a liner on the outside. And this again is such a nice way of wearing colour. So this is a deep, almost teal, greeny blue colour. And I think you, even if you don't wear the colour, the wash of colour on the eyes and you just want to like get into colour, but in a really easy way, then using a coloured liner is the easiest way you possibly can. So I'm just going to wing this out the outer corner as well. So you can see that I've got a very bright teal liner on. Almost easier to use than black as well because if you do make a little few mistakes, same as the wash having the, the pearl in it, it's just a little bit more forgiving. So that's a really easy way to wear colour. As I say, you could just do the liner on its own, the little flicky bright coloured liner or combining it with a wash, a really nice wash of colour, whether it be something with a bit of pearl like this or something more matte like that, then it's just, it's just really, really easy. So the next thing I want to do is show you how you can do different colour top and bottom. Getting more experimental here. So I'm going to do a violety pink. Maybe I'm going to go, this one ha does have a little pearl in it. I'm going to go underneath this colour. getting very ice creamy now. What is it? Napoli Napolitans with the pink and the green stripes. Well that's actually not, that is quite matte. So we've got the matte pink on the bottom and the chartreuse on the top and then because of that is quite matte you could just leave it like that or and you do need a little bit of uh, mascara as well. And then to ground that, you could use a brown eyeliner inside the eye or around the eye just to give it that grounding again, which sometimes 
if you feel like whenever I put colors on my eyes look sore or they just look smaller then having that sense of more of a neutral color close to the eyes can really help so I'm not going to use the brown eyeliner but I am going to put a touch more mascara on just because with the pink keep the eye nice and open and then at the inner corner I'm just going to try a really kind of frosty bright pink So it's a different texture. The color's not a million miles away. It's a warmer pink. So let's just look at these eyes in isolation now and the ideas. So this one first. So we have our frosty warm pink in the inner corner, quite a violety blue pink washed along underneath. That's a matte. And then on top, we've got the chartreuse matte all over as a wash. That's quite a bright color, but I strangely feel like I'm it feels quite natural in a way. On this side, we've got the, I call it the aqua eye, which is the frosty color all over. Again, it's a, quite a bright color. And then we've got the teal, the very bright teal liner. So, and of course you can do any of these elements in isolation. If you think, well, that's too much color on, on the eye, then you could do just the wash on the top or just the color in the corner. Um, but I just want to give you as many ideas about quick summer eye makeup and colour as possible. So I'm just using Painterly, which is a MAC paint pot, on both of my eyes. I've taken the colour off. Just using that as a base, really. Okay, the next thing I thought I'd do is a... I'm going to do a floating liner. So I'm going to start by just putting... This is like a frosty lilac colour all over and I'm going to use this blue Fenty eyeliner on top it's quite an electric kind of 80s turquoise blue I mean that took about five seconds to do that liner and the wash of color what I'm going to do with this bring it into the inner corner as well of my eye And then I'm going to wing this one out, but I'm going to map it across here. So it's almost going to be like a, what we call a floating eyeliner, which means that it's not exactly in the socket. So if you rest your eye and sort of look ahead, and then you draw the liner so that it's visible as a floating socket pencil. So just warming up this pencil a little bit. And then drawing a line. And you could just do it as one line like that. You could do it as a join up. So join between your bottom line and your top line. So you could just finish it there halfway across or you could go all the way along into the inner corner. I'm going to only go halfway across because I quite like the effect of just seeing the two lines at the outside. But I am going to do some a little bit of blue underneath. So I'm going to go into my waterline. Maybe not all the way along. I think this is what's nice about playing with colour in this way where it's not too precious in a way. It's not like this colour's got to be there, that colour's got to be there. It is about just experimenting more and having fun with colour. And I think with what everyone's been through the last year, I'm definitely sensing that people want to have the fun element of makeup again. I certainly do. So I'm just going to touch up my mascara. This looks really nice when you've got mascara on. A little tiny bit underneath. Keep the eye quite fresh. And then you could add a bit more colour if you're feeling, you know, while you're experimenting and playing. I might add gold. I quite like blue and gold. But just one little tiny bit there. Just at the underneath in the corner there. Quite like that and then maybe next to it I'll do a little bit of the lilac that I did on the top 
So it's like daubing colours really. And then I'll touch up my concealer. And finish off with mascara. So that's a playful floating liner. So on this eye, I think I'll do a wash of yellow. And this is like lemon, I should say. To start. And then I'm going to do a different type of floating liner. So rather than be at the outer edge, I'm going to use a pencil, like a thick pencil, and just do a, it's almost like half a, as if you're going to do a socket line, but you're just doing the corner there. So you're just having like a pop of colour. The fab pencil is quite nice because it's easy to use. So it's not like about doing a line, it's more about a shape. But I do love to also do this type of liner by using just eyeshadow. So just wet a brush. This is a very metallic orange, just normal eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with more of a thin line. This is nice as well because you get the thin line in the center and then around it you've got the diffusion of the fat pencil. So you just have a little kind of hint there. And I'm gonna do this underneath at the outer edge as well. So you have the orange sort of top and tailing it. And I might even just flick that orange up there. So you've got two different opposite ends of your eye. You've got the orange and then you've got the lemon just smack in the center. Again, I'm trying to show you as many different ideas as possible. You don't have to do all of these at once. Touch more yellow. I think I'm just trying to highlight that I think this year is going to be about fun with makeup, experimentation, less structural makeup, and then just buff the orange off. Again, I'll just touch up my um, mascara because I think that really does help, particularly when you're using colours which um, maybe don't frame as much. And again, if you want to, use a brown eyeliner closest to the eye or black, whatever you normally use, so that you don't feel like you're too alien, you know, you're not completely getting away from what you normally use. Um, another thing you can do, of course, is your neutral eye, whatever your, norm your normal go to comfortable eye makeup is and then just add maybe a touch of orange or a little bit of color like I did with the gold here a little bit of a color in the inner corner or just a touch of a floating liner or even just a touch of color in the center of a new otherwise neutral eye is still a really nice way to wear color so that's two more looks we'll call them the floating liner looks we've got our lavender frosty lid with our blue floating liner and the dab of gold in the inner corner and then this one is the lemonade eye which is lemon all over the eyes which is a matte powder and then the metallic liner floating in the inner corner and underneath and just flicking up from underneath so next I'm going to do a glossy colored eye and for this I'm going to use this paint called a Pixum. I use these a lot in my kit they come in all different colors and they're just literally like a paint but you can shear them down. They don't dry glossy, but you can add gloss afterwards. I'll put way too much on there. Let's do a pink one. Let's do a, maybe a green one or something. So with this, it really is just shearing out the color as much as you possibly can. Just go all over the lid. You could go up to the, um, brow if you wanted to and then you can either just use less than I've done or just use a clean brush or fingers even just to make sure that it's softened around those edges there then this sets there's different ways you can work this I might do both eyes pink and show different ways to work it 
Yeah, I'll do that. Since I've squeezed out way too much, I don't want to waste all of that. So we'll do the other eye as well. So for the first one, I'm going to use this, which is Janessa Myrax, and this is one of her color fixes. This is like an eye gloss. We could use it on the face as well. And this one has some pearl in it. So it's going to add some shimmer. This is what I'm going to call my candy floss eye. I will put my mascara back on there. And that's just a really beautiful, you can see, just glossy, shimmery, glossy eye. You could do any colour. It's just very simple. For this one, I'm going to do sort of like a butterfly eye. This, I did this look on Cora Delevingne for the red carpet. It's over two years ago now. Wow, that's gone fast. And um, it kind of started this trend for just daubing on lots of colour on the eyes and particularly for the red carpet. And um, I also did a lot of Dua Lipa's looks for her album that she just had out with this kind of just daubing colours on and adding colours. So I still feel like this is a really fresh idea and I still love this type of makeup. So you just need lots of brushes, clean brushes and a base colour of some description. Or you can do it actually just from, from scratch, but I'm going to have my base pink on. And then it's just really a case of daubing on colours. So maybe we'll have like a touch of this purple here at the outer edge on top. And then maybe the same purple here, but maybe not too far into the inner corner. And then maybe a pale blue under here. And then what other colour should we have? Quite like just playing. This is exactly how I first did that look on her as well. Maybe a bit of blue. This brush is a bit too big. Okay, I've got some smaller brushes so I can just go over the the colours. Do you know what? I've changed my mind about that blue. That should be a bit more lavendery. And just adding a touch more of the purple. And do a quick blend of my daubed colours. So I've put my mascara back on and I'm very pleased with my colourful eyes. I think I'm just going to go back in with this deeper purple, just at the outer edge of my purple eye, just so that there's quite a bit of definition just next to the lash there. And then for this one, which now is looking quite um, minimalistic, next to my other eye, I think I'm going to add a touch of this colour. I love this peachy colour. I use this palette loads. Just a little bit of peach there. This is a matte powder, so quite a nice contrast with the frosty, glossy. Oh, there's a little bit of shine in it, but not much. It looks quite good, I think, next to the next to the pink. And then, obviously. If you can imagine two different looks and then I think once you've done your colorful eyes then you get more of a sense of what you might like to do with the rest of your face I feel like I would just leave my lips exactly the same but I would add definitely a little bit of blush and probably a bit of highlighter as well so I'm gonna do the blush actually the pink blush will go with both of them I think so I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder blush on And then just a touch of highlighter. So yeah, so you just have to imagine again the the two different looks. So that's one look. More of a, a rainbow eye. And then my glossy, frosty, 
my sugar donut, my candy floss eye. So that's the finished looks. Um, hope that was fun. Definitely feels like the right summer to play with colour and not to be too intimidated by colour because you can add the tiniest amount, just a little pop, you can do it as an eyeliner, you can do something which is very simple like a wash of colour and if you really can't face to leave your neutral eyes then just add a touch of colour maybe even just to the outer edge of a neutral eye, you know just with a small brush just kind of do a little daubing at the outer corner of something colourful and bright and um, um, have fun with it really. So I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.